ladies and gentlemen, I am your host, Nightflower Love, hiding under this bridge in shame because I have made a grave error. You see, while I was- you see, I, uh, left off the last episode promising that I would go into the Wayward Cave and do a lot of cool stuff and it would be awesome. And then I did that. So, uh, why are you not seeing that? Why is that not recorded? Because I was a complete and utter moron and managed to completely fuck up the audio recording. Uh, the footage wound up fine. Uh, I was worried it wouldn't, but it, it wound up okay. But I didn't want to just post record the and post commentate the entire thing because see the thing about it is it was a really long recording where I didn't do a whole lot. I just went through a couple of caves and picked up some stuff. So I decided to go through and uh, take that footage and edit it down into a little highlight reel, which I will show to you now. Okay, so here in the highlight reel, we see that I uh, dug up a bunch of stuff from the underground between episodes, which I uh, may or may not have already shown. Uh, everybody is at level 22 or 23. Morty has the experience share. This is the start of the episode, as you can see. And as you can see, I go around and I get all of the items. Um, I'll cut ahead to me getting Earthquake here. So all right, with that, uh, we go into the regular Wayward Cave uh, after teaching <laughs> teaching Morty Flash. Um, we go in and <laughs> I got lost, but eventually we made it to Mira, so that's good. Um, then we basically just wandered around in the Wayward Cave forever, fighting all the trainers, getting a lot of experience, and we walked out a lot stronger as a result. Eventually Morty got strong enough to be able to fight alongside us and in the front of the party. And then I wanted to make sure before we left that, um, that our dearest glass lass could evolve into a polyworld. So yeah, that's basically everything you missed because of my screw up. Hopefully that's sufficient. I didn't want to go through the entire episode because there wasn't a whole lot to, to actually talk about, but you know, that that's what happens sometimes. Uh, I'll endeavor not to screw up the way I did here again. Now back to the show. So yeah, it, it not a whole lot happened. I'll show you my team right now. As you can see, Glass Lass is all evolved and she's awesome and I like her. I'm not super proud of the art that I've got for her, but you know, it works. I did not register that her ability was water absorb, but that's awesome. I really like that. I don't know if it's going to change when she evolves into Polyrath. I uh, I did not find a water stone underground yet. I did do a little bit of digging, as you saw. Um, mostly it was just shards and that mind plate I saw, I showed you. Um, there were a few items that I picked up other than the, the big one, which was Earthquake. I was thinking about Brick Break. And I feel like teaching it to... Glass Glass. I feel like that would be the best option right now. It would provide her with a nice type coverage move. It'd be really good and it would hit really hard. Body Slam is technically more powerful, but Brick Break is obviously going to hit things for like weakness and stuff. The, the Paralysis chance is nice, but we've got Hypnosis. I don't know. Hypnosis isn't a super accurate move, but I think I think this will be fine. I think I want to do this. We aren't going to be able to get a physical water type move for her until we get um, Waterfall, which is super late. So I want to have something for her that does a lot of damage. So I think Brick Brick is going to be it. We're going to... Uh, I'm going to keep looking for a Water Stone. I think between Brick Break and uh, Waterfall when we get that, it should be okay to like evolve her whenever I get a Water Stone. I don't think there's anything too big that I'm worried about. Worried about getting. Wake up slap isn't until level 45 and I'm not waiting that long. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's the, this is the team. Uh, I don't remember if anybody else learned anything. I don't think so. Winning is still the same. Rax is still the same. 
Beast is still the same. Morty, of course, is now up to par with everybody else. Uh, he's got Confuse Ray and Psybeam, and I did teach him Flash to get through Wayward Cave. I'm not sure how long Flash will stick around. It's not a bad move, necessarily, on an Annoyer type like, uh, like Mischievous. But, you know, it's, it's, it's whatever. We'll figure it out. Oh, uh, gotta show everybody else. Uh, you've already seen Glass Lass, of course, but uh, Ming Jue is the same. So everybody's higher level and everything. Nobody learned any new moves except for the ones that I showed you. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of sad that we that we missed all of that, but hopefully the highlight highlight reel will suffice. Ooh, I do not want to deal with Motham right now. The thing is, winning can't really run away from these guys, so I guess we'll just switch and take it out. Why not? A little bit more experience. This episode is probably going to be out late because I'm uh, I got. Because of the, the recording issues, I kind of got stuck trying to figure out what to do. Um, I eventually settled on the highlight reel thing, but uh, it means I'm actually recording this episode the day it's supposed to go up. So it's going to be out uh, a few hours late. <laughs> Possibly not until the evening. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to run around more. I don't need to run around. I'm fine. Blossom! Oh, you're pretty. Oh, you're so beautiful. <sighs> Excuse me. Okay, that's that's just that's just rude. It's just rude is what that is. Been trying to do some berry farming, but I've been kinda like doing a bunch of other things and working on all of my other stuff, but I do like doing this. I'm not super overwhelmed uh, because of this necessarily. I've just been kind of drawn into the, the Sapphire playthrough that I've mentioned a couple of times in passing. Not necessarily in passing, but I have been kind of drawn into that because I'm right near the end and it gets like... I don't know, I've got these weird fixation problems sometimes. Uh, do I have any more repels or did I use them all up? I used them all up in the cave, that's right. So, uh, yeah, that's another thing you missed. Oh my god, really? Really? You really gonna do this to me? <sighs> I'll make sure to buy more. We fought a whole bunch of trainers, so I should have the money. Oh no, that's right. Shoot, 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 Um. God, I just mentioned it and then I forgot. <sighs> Alright, so, thank god I got that out of there right in time. Um. So I'm trying to come up with things to say, because I don't have a ton. Uh, right now we're just going to go head towards Mount Coronet and try to make our way to Heart Home. I'm not sure if we're going to get there in this episode, but we might. It might be It might be good. We'll find out. Poochie Yenna. I would have liked to use it. It would have been hit, would have liked to use Isa. He's, you know, he's a good Pokemon and everything. I mean, Mighty Inn is not the best or anything, but it's not bad, and I don't mind at all. And I like using it sometimes. It gets a lot of interesting moves. But, I don't know, there's this- I've got a lot of good choices in this, so I'm pretty happy with the team we've got. Oh, what's- I don't think I noticed this before. A PP up. Cool. I'm probably gonna sell that because I don't use them super often. Like, they're useful, but I don't find myself using them in single player very often, and they're they're a good source of money. So, you know. Uh, these poor plants. I've been been not taking care of them as well as I could be. Because I've been so... <laughs> I don't want to say that I've been overwhelmed, necessarily, but I did kind of feel a little bit overcome when I figured it out, when I, when I uh, screwed up the, uh, the recording. But I powered through, I figured it out. We're here and we're good. So let's do a double battle. I really like the the trainer encounter themes, like you know the the I saw you and now I'm gonna battle you. The the pre battle themes. I don't know. The in this game they're pretty good. Uh, they're it varies obviously, but there's a like there's a big variety in this game, so it's kind of cool. Uh, all right, I'm just gonna bullet seed the heck out of you, and I'm gonna tackle the heck out of you. And, oh god, wait, oh no, if if that Chimchar uses a Fire-type move on winning, we're boned. Winning! I'm sorry, please stay alive, please stay alive, please stay alive, please stay alive! <gasps> well, that was entirely my fault, and I feel like a complete and utter moron. 
All right, no problem. Beast, please get in there and wreck some people. Oh, now I'm just, now I'm just angry. I'm angry mostly at myself. As I should be, because that was stupid. That was just stupid. God, why did I do that? Why did I let that happen? Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm so infuriated at myself! I just did all that really interesting stuff and I made it... Oh my god! How stupid can one person be? I was just talking about how nice it was to have Wenning and how cool he was. And it was nice and I liked it and... Ugh! Well, Heart Home City is going to be, uh... Postponed for a bit while I figure out... I mean, I know who I'm gonna grab. We lost a bug type, so we're probably going... I mean, like, he's also a grass type. But I've got multiple good, cool bug types that I'm probably going to have ahead that I, that I can look through here, so... Oh my god! I am so stupid! I hate it! I hate that! Oh my god, that was just me straight up being the dumbest bitch on the planet. Alright. So our choices are basically like, okay, I could... I could take somebody cool- I could take one of my two fire-type legendaries, but I don't really need them. <laughs> two fire-type legendaries. God, I've already got- I've already got Flareon. He's the best. Uh... So, alright. There's Hawk Moth, who's higher level, and then there's Diana, who is probably objectively the better bug type. I don't know, I've never used Mothum. I'm gonna try and- I- I- I'll- I'll bring Hawk Moth back and we'll- <sighs> God! How dumb do you have to be? Stupid, stupid me. <sighs> Alright, I mean, it's not any worse than the time I lost three Pokemon to Tate and Liza because. Oh, I forgot he had to, because, oh, I can just use water types, it'll be fine, not remembering that, oh yeah, the the whole point of Soul Rock is to set up Sunny Day and lower your chances of water type moves working, you fool. And I kept going ahead with that strategy too, and I was just like, I can do it, I can wear them down. It was stupid, I was dumb, I hate myself a lot, actually. <sighs> But, you know. Okay, we'll fight that hiker dude in a hot minute. First, I want to take on this lady. Yeah, let's do this. Let's get Hawk Moth some experience. Okay, I thought you might have a Metatite instead, which would have been better, but... Let's see, I forget what hidden power we got. I think it's a psychic type hidden power. All right, perfect. All right, Hawk Moth can handle the meta type. Oh, rude. God. All right. Um I'm not saying anything. I need to say something, but I don't know what to say. Uh Okay, how do you guys feel about Gushers? I ask all three people who are gonna watch this. But, you know, like, it's, I... I recently... like, not recently, quote-unquote, but, you know, as I've reached the stage of my life where I can be an adult and have my dietary choices dictated by, you know, what I actually want, rather than... I mean, it's not like my diet was ever really that great or anything, but... It's probably gotten worse now that I'm an adult. I don't really know, man. I just... I I like... I like sweet things. I have an incurable sweet tooth. 
So, you know, I was like, oh man, I can eat Gushers? When I can eat Gushers whenever I have the money to buy them. And so, naturally, whenever I've had the money to buy them, I've bought some Gushers. I like Gushers, okay guys? They're, they're, they're good. <laughs> Fruit by the Foot is also good. Aluxio. I can bug bite that. <sighs> oh wait, shoot! Oh, that's bad! Oh no, 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 no. We're higher level, so I think we'll be okay, but oh boy. Oh, I'm stupid again. I'm being stupid again. Oh god. I was like, oh, I don't have any flying type moves, so it's fine. I, I'm not gonna be resisted. Bug bite isn't gonna be resisted. Completely forgetting that that's not how types work. Ugh. All right, Gligar, Gligar. Um, I'll just thrash at it. I'll have Beast come in and thrash at it, and it'll be fine. Beast, get rid of the problem. I can bug bite that isn't as funny as can you brick break that, but you know, it's it's up there. It's decent. That's what I call getting rid of the problem. Good job, beast. Alright, now we gotta go heal. I can probably just give the EXP share to, to Hawk Moth for a little bit. I wanted to keep the silver powder on him because it makes his bug bite hit really hard, but like it's not worth it. Just 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 put the EXP share on him because he's not gonna have a lot of fights he can win at this point. Excuse me. Alright. Not that Rox is gonna do much better against a bunch of hikers, but Beast can handle them. He's a good old beast. So, alright, uh, one thing I can talk about is the whole uh, pinwheel clause, or in this case, coronet clause, uh, about the next area of Mount Coronet that we have yet to that we're about to go visit. I decided that I, since I first stated that each like main major area of Mount Coronet was going to count as an, a different encounter, that's just what I'm going to stick with. Each different like trek you take through Mount Coronet, we're going to count as a separate encounter, and we'll count the outside as something different too, because you know the outside is different from the inside of the way to the. Oh God! Come on! Seriously? Oh my god, why is this- why is this happening to me right now? I keep putting things out against stuff that has moves- I forgot- I forgot Geodude had magnitude, okay? That one was just me being forgetful rather than outright stupid. For the record. But, okay, nose pass. I think it paralyzed, but Thunder Wave isn't gonna work against Beast, so this is fine, actually. We can stay out. Rude. Not that I wanted to get out of here anyway. You're just gonna kick to the face and it'll be great. So I'm thinking about maybe trying out other, uh... Right now I'm pretty satisfied with the, uh, the schedule that I've got, although I've obviously been better about, about, uh, doing it at some times rather than others, but better about keeping the schedule at some times rather than others. God, talking. I'm- I guess I must really be tired. I did stay up kind of late last night, but I really needed to get this done because, you know, I want to keep that schedule I was talking about. So let's see how Morty does against Geodude because, you know, I mean, he's got Levitate. This will be fine. We can confuse it. It'll be great. Morty is great. I love Mr. Miss, man. Oh boy, Mudsport. How interesting and useful of you. Psybeam.
Come on, finish yourself off. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Haha. <laughs> I confuse this too. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I uh, I did another one of my retypes. I finally finished my fighting type Wobbuffet. It's based on a punching bag because like the whole idea is that you know you do damage to it and then it does damage back to you and it like swings back and forth like one of those stand up punching bags that you, you punch a whole lot and it's so I was like okay a fighting type would be like a more overt punching bag the maybe with boxing gloves instead of the regular hands. And so I had it like hang upside down and its little tail that's like the, supposedly its real self or whatever is holding it up. Oh, there's confusion. That's kind of nice. We don't really need it though because hidden power has got like a set amount of, of power and I think it's higher than confusion and it's psychic type. So we don't really need it, but I guess it's better than tackle. Alright, another GM dude. Bring it on. Bring it on! Ugh. I'm so sorry. Uh, alright. Eventually I'll get into the swing of things. So, yeah, the, uh... I called it punch a -fet because, you know, it's like... It's like wobble and buff it, right? So it's like, instead of wobbling, it punches. So, punch a -fet. It doesn't really make sense. <laughs> maybe swing a -fet would have been better. Or maybe... S punch swing? Punch punch swing? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> like I said, I'm kind of tired. Sometimes I just get really quiet when I'm tired, but then other times I get weird. Apparently I'm weird to hit. Apparently I'm mostly quiet today, but I'm trying to I'm trying to put in the weird effort, the weird points. Um I'm really excited about the expansion pass for Sword and Shield. I think I brought that up in the uh, the episode that I recorded and then lost. I am absolutely stoked to do all of the cool things on the Isle of Armor and get a bear and raise it up to be a Tai Chi master. Because I'm going to train her. Because I would... Oh god, wonderful. A revive. There's an item over here I know. A rare candy! Hey, hey that's nice. So yeah, uh, actually, it's funny. In Ruby and Sapphire, they actually changed... So, the, the pickup ability, right? They actually changed it in Emerald. In Ruby and Sapphire, it wasn't based on, like, level. It was just based on... It just it just had a set, uh, a set, like... It just had one set of items it could draw from with, uh, with the... With the regular percentages that that it was that was normal, so you could get ultra balls and rare candies from level three, and it was cool. Okay, so hey, here's Lucas. He's gonna he's gonna share stuff with me versus Seeker. That's useful. I probably won't need it super much, but the dowsing machine is super useful, and I will probably be keeping uh keeping it on. For a, for a while. A great ball. Awesome. Great balls of fire. Anything else around? Oh, hello. Gotta go all the way around. Anything? I know there was an item up there. I'm not sure. They put a whole bunch of items around this area for, you know, fairly obvious reasons. Sorry, kid. I'm gonna be in your way for a little bit. Alright, looks like that's the last one. Two. Another revive? Shit, man, if I was following my old rules, my, my old personal rules about using uh, <clears throat> revives to, to bring back Pokemon from my dead box, I would be in business. But it's fine, I don't need to worry too much about that. We'll just sell them. No, I said sell. Thank you. No, I guess I got another one somewhere that I haven't sold yet. That's bad. I'll go ahead and sell the PP up too while I'm here. The ethers I'll keep because they can be useful. <coughs> Although I will be getting lipa berries without too much difficulty and farming those will be nice. 
Alright, we'll switch rocks back to the front. Because we don't have... We don't have winning to put stuff to sleep anymore! Ah, oh, I'm so angry. Oh, I'm so angry at myself for being stupid. Alright, so... Mount Coronet encounter number two! Here we go. It might all be the same stuff. There might not be anything new. Oh! So you're Bronzor, like I thought. Um... That might be the only thing that's new here, which... Would be bad, because, um, <laughs> we already have Puchiena. So maybe I didn't entirely plan for this. But, uh, I think there are Clefairy in here. But they're rare. So we'll just wander around and we'll see. We'll, we'll go through a few more encounters. Howl looks weird in this game. Like, I mean, a lot of the moves look weird in comparison to, to how they were in Ruby and Sapphire, I guess. I don't know. Howl's a weird move. Alright, come on. Show me something good. Show me something cool. Not that you aren't cool, but you're not what I'm looking for here. Oh, that's not what... Oh, well, it'll probably do just as much damage. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll get Fire Fang without too much trouble. Once you get Lava Plume, well then we'll be in business. It's just that Ember is weak sauce at the moment, as the kids say. <laughs> Quick attack. Boom. Yay! Level 24! Yay! Come on, show me something cool! A Magneton! Awesome! Do I have an electric- I don't think I have an electric type, right? I don't have an electric type. No, I don't. Oh, but who would I get rid of? Oh, man, it's like a Magnuson right now! Okay, well, I definitely don't want rocks in the lead because an ember, a well placed ember, will just knock it out. So. Marty, do you want to chip away at this thing with some. well. Or some well aimed side beams? Oh, good. That's. I didn't even mean for that. <laughs> that was not part of my calculations, but that's actually really important because Sonic Boom would have fucked us up real bad. <laughs> there we go. There we go. We'll just we'll just will it away a little bit at a time. Don't mind at all. That's right, that's right. Now let's see here, what balls do we have? We have a couple of great balls. We'll try a great ball. Nice! Alright! Many mysteriously appear when more sunspots dot the sun? They stop TV sets from display- I have never seen that Pokedex entry before. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see here. Um, I'm gonna name you Patrol. Because... Because they're like the, the police officers in the Mystery Dungeon world. At least in the Explorers. I don't, I don't remember if they are in the, the other ones. It'd be cool to, to use that. I was using a Magneton in, uh, in Sapphire before it got obliterated. Uh, but I don't really know who I would switch out for it because I like my team just the way it is. But I guess we could do the rotation thing that I keep mentioning but never really bringing up or attempting because I'm worried about how well I'd be able to, to do it. We won't really need an electric type too soon, but if we find ourselves needing one in the future, we can always put it on the team and uh, using it then. Come on. You just... Yeah, all right, fine.
Next kind of is interesting because I never really use it that much, but then whenever I do use it, I'm reminded, oh yeah, it's a pretty solid Pokemon. It's kind of fragile in a lot of ways. Like, it has high defense, but its HP is real low. Like, real low. Okay, Hawkmoth, I think you can you can take off the, the experience share and I can give you back your silver powder. And switch you ahead to the front. Any items anywhere? Ah ha ha ha! My instincts were correct. <sighs> All right. Well, guess what? I actually have something I can deal with you now. So you know what? You know what? Get fucked. Interesting that it chose to warn me about hit warn you about hidden power. As I'm pretty sure that Bug Bite was- Come on, really?! A third free revive?! Like, look, I get that this game is kinda hard, but- Oh, hello, sir. Should've been no strife, huh? I... Hmm... Cyrus's philosophy is an interesting one because on the one hand I understand that particular breed of nihilism being living as I do in the world we currently live but at the same time everything exists in opposites you know in pairs there is only happiness because there is strife I actually heard something really cool recently um Think about, like, how a cup works. The thing that is useful about the cup is the emptiness of it, that it's used to hold things, right? But you can't use an empty space to hold things unless there is something not empty around it. But if it's just a solid object, it can't hold anything, so it's like the perfect merger of the two. Okay, so yes, it is psychic type. Just wanted a clarification. <laughs> So it's like the perfect merger of two opposites, the idea of of a holding space. An empty space that we've we've tamed in a sort of a way, you know, it's like positive and negative space merged together in one of the most uh the most iconic tools that we have, you know, to carry things around in greater in greater amounts than just our hands. It's apparently from uh some Taoist stuff, and I, I don't know, man. I think I might be a Taoist. I'm not sure. I have to do more research. I've always thought of myself as kind of agnostic. You know, kind of respecting the, uh... Respecting the, um... Kind of respecting the ideas behind most religions, but not really necessarily following one or the other. I don't know if I want to stick around here because I don't remember if you have- I don't think you have any Rock-type moves, but I'm not chancing that. <laughs> I kind of value all of the the ideas and like the mythology and stories and stuff, but I wasn't really super sold on any belief system as a belief system over any others. You know, like there's there's ways of life that, that each one follows and have that hold and hold, you know, close to themselves, and all of them are interesting and respectable, but none of them really fit me by themselves. But a lot of, like, the Eastern religions are kind of built to sort of join together in a weird way. So, I don't know, it, it's interesting. There's a lot of cool stuff you learn about actual belief systems when you look into fantasy stuff. We've been going on for a little bit longer than I expected. There's not really a stopping point here yet, though, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep going until we get to, to uh, Hard Home City to make up for this being a little bit late. Again, for the three people who care and actually watch my videos. <laughs> Which, thank you, by the way. <laughs> Eventually I'll get more. If I keep posting regularly, then I will get video. Then I will get... I will get promotion, I believe, in myself. <laughs> you 
Yeah, that's right. You sure did get pulverized. So yeah, when I have some time, I definitely want to do some more research into Taoism and figure out if I really can go along with a lot of the stuff. There is a lot of really interesting stuff about Taoism that I've learned from reading romance stuff that's <laughs> it's very interesting. The, the actual spiritual practices and stuff are just as fascinating as the philosophy. I don't know, man. There's, there's so many cool and interesting things in all kinds of from all kinds of places and it's just there's just so much cool stuff to learn and I'm never gonna have enough time to learn all of it which makes me kind of sad but at the same time excited in a weird way but also overwhelmed because there's all this stuff I want to do too and make and create I don't know like I said I get kind of weird when I'm tired <laughs> but I mean me rambling about nothing is better than me just being quiet and watching and just letting the game play out with me being a colossal moron every five minutes. Uh, not that I, I know that using glass glass is like the smart thing to do against all these hikers, but at the same time, like, I like having my, my Pokemon be evenly level. What can I say? Beast needs the experience and he can handle them. So I'm letting him handle them. He can do it. He's awesome like that. Look at him go. He's such a good, He's such a good giant rhino rabbit monster. So cool. God, I love the Nidos. They're so awesome. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. We're almost to Heart Home City. I can end off when we get there. I don't have Rock Smash because I don't have Wen Ning. Ah, and I don't want to teach it to anybody else. It's a bad move. God, excuse me. It's such a bad move, and I don't want to. I don't want to burden any of my Pokemon with it. All right, Ming Jue. You're the one with the most. You're the one with the move I'm never. You hit. I don't ever use. So I'm sorry, but you're getting Rock Smash instead of Pursuit because I don't ever use Pursuit. It's just an ether, my god. Alright, well, whatever. Ooh, berries! Okay, we got berries, and we've got, um, we've got a lady who I know is gonna have a... Actually, I want Hawkmoth to get the level, because I want to see when he gets, like, Gust. Okay, we got some berries. We got pineapple berries. Those are good for contests. Bluck berries I'm not super jazzed about, because we've already found a few of those. Or maybe it was just raspberries that we found. I think it might have just been raspberries. And these are nanobs. Don't ask me how I know these things. There's a lot of weird stuff. I'm I, I'm good at putting things together sometimes, but not super great at it all the time. Okay, no, I did have blackberries. What I want is to plant the pineabs and the nanabs. The pineaps and the nanabs, because those are the best. I don't actually I don't know if I don't know if the blacks and razes and pineaps are Damn it, I wanted to check it, but it's not gonna let me, which sucks. Whatever. I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna get some some the Poketch app from you. Yes. Thank you. Berry Searcher Poketch app. You are going to be my main Poketch app for the vast majority of the time. Yes, thank you. I appreciate your Aya Papa Berry. <laughs> I did not mean to do that, but whatever. All right, madam, fight me. I think that guy down there has a Mr. Mime and a Bonsly. Again, don't ask me why I remember this. <laughs> I just I just do a lot of things, and I, I, I like this game a lot. Like, it's not my favorite Pokemon game necessarily, but it is one of the most solid overall. I'll go ahead and use Hidden Power. I'm pretty sure Hidden Power is, the, the power of my Hidden Power is higher than confusion is. I just have it for, for funsies. Ha! Get dunked on. Trying to paralyze me. Roselia gives so much experience. Yeah. Uh, Combi. Combi. We'll let Rox handle it. 
Yeah, let's do this. Aw, it's so cute and useless. Get wrecked. I just have to let myself be weird, because, like, I'm worried about being too weird because I don't want to be, like, pushing people away and I don't want to be too nonsensical because I'm already tired and I already feel like I've made a whole bunch of mistakes. Oh, wait, shoot! Do I get an encounter here? I think I get an encounter here. What route is this? Hold on. Thankfully, that's Dupes Claws because I already have Hawk Pot. Sometimes branched evolutions count towards Dupe Claws and sometimes they don't. Usually the only one I count as not Dupes Claws is Eevee. What route is this? Because I don't remember. Hold on. <laughs> Do I get an encounter here? This is Route 208. I do! I do get an encounter here. Okay, so let's look around for something cool. You're not anything that cool. I'm sorry, Wormadam. I'm sorry, but I have a Hawk Moth, so yeah. Not that you weren't interesting, but the fact is that I could only ever catch you as a grass type. And I think that's the, the least interesting of your types, anyway. So it's like, you know, I'll just have Hawk Moth. Come on, show me something interesting. You're not that interesting! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I don't mean to be rude! But I want to see something other than you, okay? I just think we should see other people, is that alright? I'm sorry! Tiny mushroom! Selling item! Awesome! I don't know why my voice is doing that! <laughs> Mr. Mime! Rest in peace, D! Oh, it's gonna double slap me! Oh man, you can't double stamp a triple stamp! <laughs> Can't triple stamp a double stamp, Lloyd. <laughs> I don't know what that's ref. I don't know what that's a reference to. I just know that N Nintendo Capri Sun does that a lot. I just, I, I just find it funny because of the way he says it, and I don't know what it's referencing at all. So, come on, show me something interesting. <laughs> come on, I don't have a dupes clause limit, and I don't want to install one. I want to get an, I want to get an encounter here. Show it to me. Show me something cool. Show me something interesting. Show me something I want to see! Not that I'll complain about some experience, because I don't know what level I need to be at for the gym and everything, but just, you know, come on. Come on! There's a lot of interesting stuff here! I know you aren't Ralts, and I know that the... the, the, the blah, 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 blah. Oh, whoops, didn't mean to do that. I know that Mr. Mime isn't either. I don't think you're Babarel. You're like Staravia or something, maybe? Or Starly? I don't know. I don't remember when I started seeing you. It's not important, though. Come on, I want to see something cool. Come on! Why must you do this to me? Whatever, rock to me. I have a lot of ways of dealing with bug types! <laughs> You know, that's the way it should be in some cases. There are a lot of different ways of dealing with bug types in general, so, you know, having multiples of, of them on your team is not unexpected. So, alright, what else we got? Come on, show me something. Show me something I can catch. Show me something I can catch. You're not something I can catch either! Why? Why are you like this? Why is this happening to me? Alright, well, let's test out payback, I guess. 
Oh look, we're faster than it. Like I said, this is not gonna be super useful, I don't think. <laughs> but you know, it's there, it's super effective. It's neat, it's interesting. It's not really that interesting, you guys. Um, I'm just gonna cut to whenever I find something interesting because at this rate it's gonna take forever and I don't want to bore you guys with my silence and uninteresting commentary while I wait for something interesting to show up. Oh! Well that's neat! Kinda pointless, but neat! Alright, I'll see you guys when I run into something cool. Oh! That's something cool! That happened faster than I thought! Hello, little Surskit! Hello! Aww! He's so cute. It's a shame your base stats aren't updated to their Gen 7 standards. Just Gen... because, uh, UPR doesn't... Okay, okay. Because the, uh, the Universal Pokemon Randomizer is not updated uh, for Gen 7 stuff, which is a shame. But, you know, I really wish the Netball was, like, quadruple effective against you. But I'm gonna use it anyway because, like, freak, man. Like, why not? It's the perfect storm. Excuse me. Fantastic. We're awesome. All right. A little pond skater. I love Surskit. It's great. Most of the reason I love it is because of how buff of how much they buffed Masquerine in Sun and Moon, though. So I might not actually ever use it. But it's really cute, though. <laughs> Water Striders are actually really terrifying. But let's see here. Surface tension. Um. What joke can I make about surface tension? I'll just- okay, I will call you ninja. Okay, now, let's think here. Do I know of any bug ninjas that are female? Or any- any water ninjas that are- I guess I know of- No, that doesn't really work because it's- it's not- hmm. I'll just name you ninja. Ninjid with the apostrophe and everything. That'll be perfect. <laughs> I'm a dumbass sometimes, what can I say? Alright. So I'll definitely have to look at uh, Ninjid and uh, the Magneton I caught, whose name escapes me, <laughs> once we get to Hard Home City, and then I will end off the episode. This is gonna be a long one because I don't care, and I don't care about you either. Let's see, do I want to fight the Bonsly and Mime Junior guy with Ming Jue? I think I can fight them with Morty. I think he'll enjoy a fight. Excuse me, sir. But dun 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 Hopefully that syncs up, because it probably won't, because of the way things get weird when I record stuff and try and sync it up with the audio in this the video, but whatever. It's good. It, it, I, I like that a lot. Okay. We're gonna confuse you. See, Morty's also, like, kind of fast, too. So, you know, he does good stuff, man. Mr. Viss is good. Like, their objective- like, you know, Gengar is objectively better in terms of stats. Oh, that's unfortunate! Alright, I guess we're switching, then. Like, you know, Gengar is objectively more powerful, and I'm aware of that. But Mr. Viss has more, has more tricks, and that's fun. It's tricky. It's tricksy. It's, it's very cute. I usually name them Trixie if they're female, but this one is not female, so it shall not be Trixie. There we go, piece of cake. Now, bonds lie. I guess, in lieu of keeping Morty in 
since I, he's not in anymore, I'll just use Beast and we'll double kick it and things will be great. It'll be awesome. Get. Not wrecked. God damn it. I was hoping to say get wrecked, but it didn't work. Oh god. Flail sucks. I don't like flail. Uh, we'll just kick it again. It's fine. Okay, now get dunked on. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm trying to mess around with this cool new microphone I have and figure everything out. There's like all these complications and layers to like good quality quality uh, equipment and and stuff. And it's like trying to figure out all the ins and outs can be kind of tiring, especially when you're already tired. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'm mostly just being a dumbass. So let's save the Spaneri! Yes, I'm glad I could be help here to help you with your Spaneri. I will absolutely drop by the contest hall because I fucking love contests! Alright, let's... But first things first, I need to go to the Pokemon Center and end off the episode. <laughs> Alright, here we are. So, let's have a look at our Magneton and our Surskit. Here's our Magneton up here. Patrol, that's right, I named it Patrol. Gentle, that's a high special defense, low attack, I think, which is honestly perfect. That's perfectly fine, I actually really like that. Uh, and then Ninjid, she is bashful, so she's got a nice neutral nature, that's nice. Swift swim, she'll have intimidate when she evolves, which is rad. Let me look at you. Okay, so you got run away, so you'll you'll have intimidate if I decide to evolve you, so that's good. That's good. <laughs> Alrighty, um so yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this very long episode, but uh yeah, I think that's fine. So this has been Nightflower Love. This has been a very long episode of uh, my night of Nightflower loves Pokemon Platinum Randomized Nuzlocke. God, I'm so tired. If you enjoyed this video, please check my description for my Patreon because I have one of those and I've been putting it in the description, but I haven't known exactly when to start like actually actively promoting it in my videos. But I'm gonna start doing it now because you know all three people who are watching my videos should help should go check out my Patreon. Because not only can you support me and my my work there if you really like my stuff and appreciate how much effort I've been putting into it or whatever, I also have a bunch of other projects there like my uh, art tag on Tumblr and a bunch of fiction works that I'm publishing on Archive of Our Own. So, this has been Nightflower Love, like I said. This has been my Pokemon Platinum Randomized Nuns, like, like I said. I will figure out a new order for this new outro that I'm apparently doing eventually. I'm sorry. I will catch all of you guys on... The flip side. Later. <laughs>